On a Navy aircraft carrier, a flight deck crew's job is to make sure the aircraft's launch safely and return safely. It's usually a male-dominated position, but in today's Navy, they are starting to take a, a lot more progressive approach. In fact, two sailors from Thornton are part of a historic all-female flight deck crew. We sent our producer, Paul Harris, on a special assignment to San Diego aboard the USS Theodore Roosevelt to bring you their story. At a cost of nearly $5 billion, the USS Theodore Roosevelt can carry about 66 aircraft and launch 100 missions in a day. Before a single aircraft can take off, they have to get a green light from the flight deck crew. That's where Thornton natives Petty Officer 2nd Class Esperanza Romero and Petty Officer 3rd Class Demarius Hernandez come in. Being up on the flight deck is it's one of the most dangerous things that you can do. It's Romero and Hernandez's job to make sure the aircraft is in sync with the catapult system. Steam-powered catapults that can propel an aircraft 170 miles per hour down a short runway in just seconds. They also have the option to abort a launch, a job that is taken very seriously by flight crew and pilots. You are uh, putting your life in everybody's hands that are on the deck and below the deck. The uh, you know female, male, it doesn't matter as long as they're qualified to do their job. Romero, Hernandez, and their fellow female sailors decided to prove a point and asked to form an all-female flight deck crew, a logistical daunting task since a single crew can consist of 20 to 30 sailors, and especially challenging for their supervisor, called a shooter, who had only been aboard the Roosevelt a few days. So it made me feel really proud that I could work with other females who are trying hard to excel. According to the Navy, there have been female launch crews, but never before on the Roosevelt. It does give me that sense of pride, like I'm proud of myself. But there wasn't a lot of time to celebrate their accomplishment. On their last deployment, the USS Teddy Roosevelt wasn't off the coast of the Bahamas. They were actually in the Middle East, specifically near Bahrain, so they could conduct missions in Iraq, Syria, and Afghanistan. And we're the first uh, carrier to do simultaneous strikes in Afghanistan and Iraq on the same day. After a thousand missions flown and seven months at sea, the sailors have a chance to reflect on what they achieved. I feel kind of accomplished that I was able to participate in something to help my younger sailors do something that they may not have another chance to do. Romero and Hernandez are now back in their home port of San Diego and focusing on maintenance of the carrier, but that doesn't mean they don't miss some of the comforts of Colorado. The food, the green chili. <laughs> on special assignment in San Diego, Paul Harris, Channel 2 News. Did you forget? We forgot to say the Rocky Mountain oysters. That's green chili. <laughs> hey, congratulations to you guys out there. That's a wonderful really good. job. And you're breaking some glass ceilings. So good to yeah, see you. Isn't that. that neat? It is neat. Spectacular. Yeah.